is this thing on? Um, hello, my name is Andy Kaufman. Yes, yes, thank, thank you very much. Um, okay, I'll get, um, my name is Andy Kaufman, and I'm, I'm gonna be here today, all day, uh, hosting on, uh, Trime Tavolo. Uh, oh, it says my name is George Carlin down there. Let, let us fix that, um, because I'm really particular about my name. Uh, for one, it's not George. Um, uh, it, it, it does kind of sound like Carlin, but it's, but it's Kaufman is the way that it's pronounced. Thank you very much. Um, I, um, I know a lot of you have uh, uh, heard of me before, and um, you, you know my name from such uh, television shows. Um, uh, but um, uh, Saturday Night Live and uh, uh, Fridays. Uh, um, but it, it, it doesn't matter where you recognize me from. Um, uh, you, you're probably wondering. You're like, I, I've seen you on Taxi. I've, I've heard you do your Latka voice, and and you've also heard me uh, be Andy, and I'm crazy and fun and have a lot of crazy things to do. But but I'm I just want to be myself, and a, a lot of people do not realize I'm British. Um, I I have a lot of things to do today. Uh, wh whenever I was in school. You see, I had this professor um, that, uh, of American literature that said that um, this book by F. Scott Fitzgerald is the greatest American uh, piece work of literature ever created. And I, I have to say, I, I don't quite agree with it. Um, but I, I do have the book here today with me. And um, I, I... Oh, um... Uh, let me finish my own uh, titles and okay. So uh, now on this show, what we do is we um, we play silent films after dark, and uh, and we also play uh, music. And uh, I, I would like to start with with this song. Mr. Trouble never. Hangs around. Hold on. Hold on a second. Mr. Trouble. Mr. Trouble. Oh, oh, this is very embarrassing. Mr. Trouble never. Okay, that that's obviously not working right now. I, I don't know why. I, I have no idea what is going on. Um. Uh. So instead, um. I'm I'm just gonna do this, okay? Uh, uh, let, let's let's start on the Great Gatsby, Chapter One. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning it over in my head ever since. <laughs> if you could please hold your cheers until the end. <laughs> I, I I just ask you to please hold your cheers until the end. I I'm I'm ve I'm very serious about this, okay? So please just. Relax and enjoy the novel. Um, we still have a long ways to go. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. He didn't say any more, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way, and I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. In consequence, I'm inclined to reserve all judgments, a habit that has opened up many curious natures to me and also made me the victim of, are among other natural curiosities, two unusual formations of land, 20 miles from the city pair. What the heck? I've got some music going on. That's not what I wanted to hear. No. You stop that, I said, and it stopped. I'm reading a book. Uh, all right. Where was I? Okay. Now I was going to bring back all such things into my life. When I looked once more for Gatsby, he had vanished, and I was alone again in the unquiet dark.
that that is not that is not the end of the book. That is just the end of chapter one. There's still a long, long ways to go. Um, but uh, in the meantime, I could use a slight break. So if, if y'all could enjoy a, a, a bit of a break with me, yes, thank you. Th th thank, thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Um, yes, I um, so I, I'm going to play some music for you, but it's it's not what you're expecting. Um, I'm going to play uh, a, a live concert by the Grateful Dead. Um, we're going to start off with uh, one of my very favorite songs of theirs. It's it, it's called "He Was a Friend of Mine." And uh, whenever we come back, I will read you some more of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Alright, so thank you very much for coming in. I, I, I'm Andy Kaufman. Um, that, that last bit that I did was my uh, Great Gatsby bit. Uh, that, that's not actually my real voice at all. In fact, uh, this isn't my real voice at all. Um, I, I, I do impersonations and, and this is me actually impersonating another person that I met in my life, but um, I actually talk like this. My, my name is Andy Kaufman and I'm here, I, I'm not trying to entertain anybody, I'm just trying to tell you about myself. So, um, <laughs> well, you don't, you, please don't. Don't laugh now because that that was not one of the jokes. <laughs> okay, um, I'm Andy Kaufman, and um, uh, I'm I'm here on Time Traveler, and and we we are listening to the Grateful Dead, and um um I just wanted to let you know that um we still have many 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 chapters to go. And the Great Gatsby. So, um, without any further ado, um, I will now read it to you again. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Chapter 2 About halfway through West Egg and New York, the motor road hastily joins the railroad and runs beside it for a quarter of a mile, so as to shrink away from a certain desolate area of land. I'm not finished. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, you, you've done it. You've done it. I'm not going to read anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to sit here. I'm just going to sit here and, and nobody's going to have any fun now. And... And, and and I'm not even gonna speak in a British voice anymore. I'm just I'm just gonna be Andy, and and you guys are gonna have to sit here and listen to me, and and I'm gonna talk about myself. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you things about myself that are that that are true and really deep to me. <laughs> what? Why would you laugh at that? Seriously? What, why would you, why would you, I'm I, I'm trying to talk about serious stuff, and you're laughing. At me. Okay. Um. Oh, well, if I'm going to tell you about anything else, I, I, I want you to stop laughing right now, okay? Uh, will you stop laughing? Okay, okay. Um, I, I'm going to tell you about uh, transcendentalism. <laughs> Why is that funny? It's something that's actually very serious to me, and you already said that you weren't going to laugh, and I mean it right now. I will walk out of here, and I will do no more nothing on this show if you do not give me the respect that I deserve right now. Okay, so, um, well, so I'm, I'm going to tell you about transcendentalism. Um, uh, it, it's, it's a philosophical, it's a philosophical movement that developed in the late 1820s and 1830s in New England region of the United States. A core belief is the inherent goodness of people and nature. And while society and its institutions have corrupted the purity of the individual, people are at their best when truly self-reliant and independent. Transcendentalists saw divine experience and hear it in the everyday. Rather than believing in a distant heaven, transcendentalists saw a physical and spiritual phenomena as part of dynamic processes rather than discrete entities. Um, so, 
I've been doing this for a long time, and um, my my parents didn't always approve of everything that I did. Um, whenever I was a kid, I did a lot of things that made a lot of people laugh, but I wasn't always trying to make people laugh. And you know, some people don't actually understand what it's like to be laughed at. And but um, but, but but that's not what we're talking about now. We're talking about transcendentalism. <laughs> I'm ser. I told you not to laugh, and you're laughing at me. And I'm, I'm, I'm much older now. I'm 74 years old, but I'm not. I'm still very sensitive, and uh, there's certain things that I, you know, I, I talk about, but also that I don't talk about. Um, uh, like for instance, uh, uh, doing drugs and uh, stuff like that. Um, I, I, uh, as transcendentalism, we we don't need any of that. I can, I can get to any. Uh, highness any point any level uh, just through meditation so um, it, you guys you know uh, I mean it, it, well I mean I'm, I'm not telling you uh, anymore because uh, um, I, I feel like um, th there's just uh, it's something that you need to find for yourself and and it's really not up to me to be the reason why you discover it I mean, especially if you're laughing at me and laughing at it. That just tells me that you have some sort of insecurities in yourself that you're trying to work out. But, um, uh, I, I, you know, I'm not too worried about any of that. Um, uh, but, uh, um, I, I guess we could read more of The Great Gatsby, if you want. Wow, you, you, guys, you guys really want, you, you really want me to keep on reading? Okay, well, all right. <clears throat> I want to get one of those dogs, she said earnestly. I want to get one for the apartment. They're nice to have, a dog. We backed up to a gray old man who born our lips moved silently for the moment as he invented George B. Wilson at the gas line pump or something like that. <laughs> I have told you guys not to be laughing and it, it really does interrupt me and I you uh, you made me lose my place and my page um uh, thanks thank you thank you now now because of you uh we are gonna have to listen to uh we're gonna have to listen to the next Grateful Dead show so uh oh that makes you happy that that you'd rather listen to the the Grateful Dead, uh, some fan tape recording that's available online, rather than uh, the greatest work of American literature of all times. I, I mean, I'm I, I don't like I, I don't see why you guys even are staying around here. Like, why don't you just leave? What what I mean? Uh, uh, come on, viewers. I, I don't I don't I don't need you. I, okay. Well, we're not going to... I'm going to read more. Catherine leaned close to me and whispered in my ear, Neither of them can stand the person they're married to. They can't. Can the beast. Loneliness. Old grocery horse. Broken bridge. Then, I was lying half asleep in the cold lower level of the Pennsylvania station, staring at the morning tribune and waiting for the four o'clock train. And I thank you very much for your patience. Uh, that was the end of chapter two. Um, now uh, we're going to listen to the the next Grateful Dead show. These are going in a chronological order. So um, uh, that was May third, and our next one is going to be May seventh, and that is at the Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, California. We're going to start with their most second most played song and then followed by their most played song uh, me and my uncle is of course the Grateful Dead's second most played song and uh, tuning is their first most played song so thank you very much for uh, tuning in uh, my name is Andy Kaufman and uh, I, I, I'm uh, I am here uh, to help Trime Traveler with uh, his uh, wonderful stream of Trime Traveling uh, Stay posted, and after dark, we're going to watch some of my favorite uh, silent films.
Thank you. You bring on the Jefferson airplane. That is the end of May 7th, 1969. Thank you very much. Um, you are watching Train Traveler. I am Andy Kaufman. And um, right now, uh, <clears throat> I am going to, I am going to tell you a little bit about my home. I'm, I'm from the land, uh, an island in the Caspian Sea. It, it, it is called Caspiar. It sunk, and that, that that is why I am Andy Kaufman. And if you if you like to to listen to the Grateful Dead, a lot a lot of my friends ask me, Andy, do you like the Grateful Dead or the Beatles better? And I always tell them Elvis, but that is just my own personal opinion, and I will keep it to myself because. Today's show is about you, and if you're here to watch the Grateful Dead with me, then that means that you can you can listen with me, with us all, and we'll, we'll all be very happy, and it'll be great. So anyway, um, before we go, I'm I'm gonna do one more thing. Um, I'm going to uh, uh hand the mi the microphone back over to my friend, and um, we are going to um listen to him read some more from the Great Gatsby. All right, and, and here you go. <clears throat> Thank you, Andy. Anyway, this is Andy Kaufman again. Um, of course, uh, uh, multiple personality disorder, uh, who knows what it is? Who, who really even cares what it is? Uh, regardless, chapter three. <clears throat> there was music from my neighbor's house through the summer nights. In his blue gardens, men and girls came and went like moths among whisperings, and the sham had to be tactfully broken off before I was free. Everyone su suspects himself of at least one of the cardinal virtues, and this is mine. I am one of the few honest pe people that I have ever known. Thank you for listening. That was Chapter 3 of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, I am Andy Kaufman, and uh, you are watching uh, The Legend of Trime Traveler. And um, now I am. Uh, uh, Trime Traveler is going to have me get stoned, and we're going to see how that works out. Okay. Alright. Um, now, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this on camera or not, but I'm going to do it anyway, and then I'm going to describe it to you just in just in exactly the way that I would ah and I'm also not gonna use that stupid accent anymore because like oh uh, oh uh, I mean it gets annoying after a while you get into character that you're like so ready to get out and oh man it just feels good to be well of course this isn't Andy this is just you know one of my other uh, impersonations that I do uh, actually uh, I can do uh, the president of the United States <clears throat> Hi, I'm the President of the United States. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. That 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 was a, uh, yeah. I I've been working on that one for a, a long time, actually. Oh man, I taking the. And it's I I can't I can't I can't I can't I can't do it I can't place I can't I can't play stoned I can't play stoned I, I I'm out of here I'm leaving bye bye I, 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 uh, uh, somebody take the microphone take, take my headphone take them now or I'm gonna throw them take them now or I'm going to throw them you hear me all right. Bye. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, this is Triumph Traveler. That was Andy Kaufman. Uh, he just left. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if I'm still going to have to pay him 
or if he's gonna finish the book or whatever. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I like I honestly try to get comedians in here, and um, uh, that, that's why I was trying to get Dave Smith, um, but um, it, Andy. I he, uh, first off when whenever I had him come in, he uh, he was upset that I called him a comedian. He said I'm just a, a song and dance man. What whatever that means, right? And. Uh, So yeah, and Andy's gone now, and um, uh, I I do have another guest that's uh, supposed to be on. As it was actually supposed to be here like an hour ago, and uh, uh, I, I guess Andy's worked with him too. Uh, it, I, that might even be why Andy left because Andy's afraid of him or something. Um, so. Uh, Without any further ado, uh, are, are you ready? Are you in there, Mr. Clifton? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Uh, yeah, uh, Kaufman, you had him in here before me. Uh, well, I, I tell you what, uh, he, 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 he's not funny. He, he, I don't know if you wanted a comedian in here, but he's not funny. Uh, if you if you want a good singer in here, then then you got me. You're lucky that you got me in here because I'm gonna sing you guys a song, okay? I'm gonna sing you guys a song today, and I hope that you like it, cause it's it's my favorite Grateful Dead song. All right, don't go anywhere. I said don't go anywhere. All right, so as you know, Andy Kaufman has left the building, ladies and gentlemen, and he's not coming back. And now you've got me. Tony Clifton, and I'm gonna sing you a song, okay? So I hope that you like it. Once upon a time there was an engineer Growing like a lot of and yeah And talking by a monkey who was in a store Watching every day and eating you know a lot more One day he starts for a bite to eat He left a monkey sitting on the driver's seat And the monkey pulled out a locomotive Jumping on the night of my night and me Look more right on time. Big look more to get down the line. Big look more to get down the line. Big big engineer with the worried mind. Your engineer calls up the spatter on the phone. Tells them all about a locomotive with gold. Get on the switch operator to right curve. The monkey got main line stood up tight. My own time. Me look man, I'm coming down the line. Bang locomotive number 99. Let the engineer with the worried mind. One switch up right, yes, messages in time. Just no bang, we on the same bang line. Get on the switch, I'm on the run, I'm on the hall. Cause the mind, you got the locomotive under control. That was Monkey and the Engineer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your chairs are your chairs are necessary. I, I, yeah, yes. The, the, don't stop cheering because, uh, um, please, 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 please. I, I'm not like Andy Kaufman. I don't, I don't want you to not cheer or laugh at me, okay? Uh, all right? You, you hear me? Because, like, uh, whenever Andy comes in, I know a lot of you fall asleep, right? You know? Uh, I mean, I... Uh, I'm not here to read you a fucking book. You hear me? I, I, I'm, I'm not just going to stand up on the stage and waste your bullshit time. Now, if you're going to be watching this stream with Time Traveler and you got me on it, then you're probably going to be, like, entertained and have a lot more fun than you will ever have with Eddie Kaufman on here. Let me tell you something about Eddie Kaufman. He's a fake. He's a fraud. 
He faked his death. He faked his death two times. And and now he's out sunshining somewhere in some guru valley trying to learn how to fly so he can get back home. But that's silly. And, and, Andy Kaufman is not my friend and not my associate in any way. And it's just a pure coincidence that I'm on this show at the same time that he is. So, I, I suggest that anybody that even mentions him again, uh, keep, keep their lips shut, they're all still, I'll be walking out of here like he did, okay? L like he did out on me. Uh, I, I, had, I had him come on my play, on my, on my show one time, and you know what he did? He, he threw a fit and he walked out of the place. He, he, he poured a drink on one of my audience's head. You hear that? Yeah, he, uh, uh, he got, oh man. Anyway, we're gonna listen to some more grateful for that music. Um, that was May 7th. Um. Our next show is going to be May 11th at the Aztec Bowl in San Diego, California. And don't you forget it. My name is Tony Clifton. Okay? A name to remember. A name to respect. Don't you forget it. Because if you do, I'll come to your house and I'll be like, hey, what's my name? What's my name? Huh? 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 I'll be knocking on your door and be like, what's my name? Huh? It's Tony Clifton. I want to hear you say it. Everybody say it. <laughs> That's close enough. All right. Uh, without any further ado, let's start with some morning do. Cowboy, 
to Triumph Traveler, I, I, I'm Andy Kaufman, and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm glad to have you all here. Uh, um, I, I'm sorry that I left earlier. I, I, I just I, I, I sometimes have uh, problems with uh, you know people who just don't give me. I, I mean, like I, I'm, I'm a big time like Hollywood superstar. I've, I've been doing this for a long time, and, and, and I'm a professional, and I, I require a certain atmosphere to to perform my art. And whenever people you know interfere with that atmosphere, it's it's hard for me to, um, you know, to perform. So uh, of course I, you know, I, I did leave, but I, I came back because uh, I, I, I wasn't done yet. I mean, we still have the rest of uh, the book to read, and um, also uh, just wanted to like come in and say uh, that I was sorry. And um, you see, the the thing is, um, my you know my my parents. Um, uh, God rest their souls. That they, I, I didn't like to perform certain things while I was on television, uh, because I know that it would upset them, and um, you know, like sometimes I did some things that really scared them a lot, like like what the wrestling bit and stuff like that, uh, and also you know just the the ter the terrible things that I was saying about women, and um, and of course you know I, I I'm, but what I'm doing is I'm mocking those things because I because I, I despise them very much. And um, that, that's just something that I think a lot of people never really understood about me. But um, uh, I, I just wanted to explain that to you, and um, I, I also wanted to sing you a song, uh, but I, I'm not able to find it, so I keep on looking, and um, you know I don't want to waste too much of your time uh, searching for something like that. Plus, uh, I, I, we were going to watch a, a silent film later, also, so. Um, Let's see what I can find. Um, okay, I, I'd like to, so, th there's a lot of people out there that, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, people, you know, try to say that the world goes round and that, you know, that the moon goes round us and then we go around the sun and stuff like that, but, um, but how do we know any of that is true? How do we know that the world is not flat? There's people all around the globe that believe in a flat Earth. So, um, you know, I, I I think about that a lot, and I I, I think that other people probably should too. But like, no matter where they are on the globe, they should, you know. Biden jokes he's really not Irish because he's sober and doesn't have relatives in jail. Uh, I, I guess that's like a joke. Um, I think it's just gaslighting, you know, like whenever edgy people are like upset that someone is being edgy, then you know, it's just kind of like funny. Cancels itself out, you know. All right. Well, anyway, um, I'm not gonna read any more of the Great Gatsby. Uh, I I, I want to listen to more Grateful Dead. So I'm gonna start on the next show, uh, which I believe is uh, yeah 5:24. We just heard 5:23. That was actually 5:23, uh, not 5:11. And uh, now we're gonna do um, uh, May 23rd, 1969. And um, my name is Andy Kaufman. I'm I'm 74 years old. 
I faked my death twice, and um, I, uh, I I have absolutely no affiliation uh, with the uh, the international singing sensation uh, known as Tony Clifton, and I apologize sincerely if I if I offended him, and I, I apologize basically just to everyone in the public if if anything that I said or did was offensive. Um, or anything that he said or did was offensive. Um, I, I personally don't like to use um, bad words or to to you know to to get upset. And I, I know I was upset, and I I, I I did threaten to throw my headphones earlier, um, which I mean, I, the truth is I'm I'm not even actually wearing headphones. So anyway, um, I, I, we're going to start this next set off. Uh, this is. This next one is called uh, "Turn on Your Love Light," and um, I'm, that's not a bad idea. Like if you if you have a love light and, and and you have one right now, and you can just turn it on, you can you can let it shine, and that that wouldn't be such a bad thing after all, if you think about it, because you know it's good to have love in your life, and and if you have a love light, then there's no reason not to turn it on and you know and love right now. So uh, without any further ado. Let's start the show. Amrod, who's the equipment manager for the Grateful Dead, is really amazing. He's just got this old organ up here. With six prongs, they don't have a six. Still broken. Yes, but he's going to do it. All oh, right, and um, uh, there we getting started. I'm going to turn off the microphone, and I'm going to leave you guys uh, All right, with the Grateful play. Dead. And While they're getting have, have a good the Grateful set. Dead. And, and I apologize for making this uncomfortable.
Lay down, my dear brothers. Lay down and take your rest. I want you to lay your head upon your Savior's breast. I love you, oh, but Jesus loves you the best. And I bid you good night. Good night. Good night. And I bid you good night. Good night. Good night. And I bid you good night. Good night. Good night. Lay down, my dear brother. Lay down and take your rest. I want you to lay your head upon your Savior's breast. Well, I love you, oh, but Jesus loves you the best. And I'll bid you good night, good night. Good night, and I bet you good night, good night, good night, for the arm that won the bubble. Good night, good night, dead and beat for the feast, and it up the world. Good night, good night. Well, they eat all the children and what not they do. Good night, good night. I remember right where, I remember right where. Good night, good night. Well, walking in Jerusalem just now, just good night, good night, good night. I want you to lay your head upon your Savior's breast. I love you, oh, but Jesus loves you the best. And I bid you good night, good night, good night. The young bloods are going to come out and play for you. The Grateful Dead. <laughs> Far out. Well, that's the end of that show. We had some really good synchronizations in that. Uh, um, so uh, I'm probably going to go back and like uh, uh, redo this whole show. Well, I mean, you know, I, I always like to do my little clips. All right, so let's, let's look for our next show. We just did 524. Next on our list is 5.30, Springer's Inn and Portland, Oregon. I'm going to start off with a little morning dew.
walk you out in the morning Still today hey. But I heard a baby Cry this
Started winning 
both gone so What do they call him? Then two more He's a machine Well, no, it couldn't be I know my uncle But he's on the street I'm the son of the devil's man to be One of the cowboys starts to draw I shot him down, Lord, but he never saw He shot me another, well, hot damn, he won't grow oh, oh. In the confusion, I'll grab the gold We hot-tailed it down to Mexico I love the gold I love my uncle God rest his soul He taught me good law He taught me all I know But he taught me so good Well, I took that gold I left him lying there On the side of the road Sleep. 
Another string, so I'm going to change this one too. <clears throat> Meanwhile, you can talk amongst yourselves, or maybe it's talk amongst yourself, or you can talk to yourself.
garden he goes. Country garden in the wind and the rain. Wherever he goes, the people all complain. <laughs> I'm 
golden foot, the ground is patched with climbing arms of ivy wrapped around. Bands of needles dark and shining in the breeze. William Phillips takes his foot till it won't stand the further more. And they require a change that hasn't come before. Thank you.
making a baby with your little boy. And you left mama standing in the door. Said your love for me would die. So come on, baby.
That seems to be our abrupt ending to uh, uh, to our, uh, our our show. Um, that was May thirtieth. Yeah. And our next one is May thirty first. MacArthur Court, the University of Oregon, in Eugene, Oregon. <laughs> but before that. I'm going to play a couple songs, so let's do it. Old Uncle Peter, he got tight, started up to heaven one stormy night. The rope being up from them not well, he lost his way and he went to hop along Peter, where you going? Hop along Peter, where you going? Hop along Peter, won't you bear in mind? Come back to the gooseberry time. Old Mother Hubbard and her dog were Dutch. A bow legged rooster and he hobbled on a crutch. The hen chewed tobacco and the duck drank wine. The goose played the fiddle on the pumpkin vine. Hop on Peter, where you go? Hop on Peter, where you go? 
hop along, Peter, won't you bear in mind? I ain't coming back till the gooseberry time. Down in the barnyard playing seven up, the old Tom Cat and a little yellow pup. The old, the old mother hover just a picking out the fleas, and the rooster in the cream jar up to his knees. Hop along, Peter, where you going? Hop along, Peter, where you going? Hop along, Peter, won't you bear in mind? I ain't coming back till the gooseberry time. I got a sweet gown this old time. She weighs an ounce, she weighs 700 pounds. Every, every time my sweet gown turns once around, the heels of her shoes makes a hole in the ground. Hop along, Peter, where you going? Hop along, Peter, where you going? Hop along, Peter, won't you bear in mind? I ain't coming back till the gooseberry time. That one's a little scary for a second there, because like, it sounds like I'm going to say a bad word, but then I don't. So if it made anyone uncomfortable, or if, if it offended anyone, then I, I really am sorry. I, I didn't mean to, you know. Okay. Three men went hunting and something they did find. They came upon a porcupine and that they left behind. The Irishman said it's porcupine and the Scotsman he said they. The Welshman said it's a pin cushion with the pen stuck out the wrong way. Three men went hunting and something they did find. Upon a toe frog and that you left behind. The Irishman says toe frog and the Scotsman he said nay. The Welshman said it's a jay bird with the feathers worn away. Said it's not house and the Scotsman he said nay. The Welshman said it's church house with the steeple blown away. Freeman went hunting and something they did find. Came upon a Norton that they left behind. The Irishman said it's Norton, the Scotsman he said nay. The Welshman said it's the end of the world, let's go back the other way. Says Norton, the Scotsman, he said nay. The Welshman said it's the end of the world, let's go back the other way. Alright, and here's another one that I really like a lot. I don't know if you guys like children's songs like I do, but these ones are like some of the best ones ever of all time, so I hope that you enjoy them. And I'm Andy Kaufman. Uh, you're, you're watching uh, Trime Tabler, The Legend of Trime, or something like that. I don't even know what it's called. If you go down to the woods today, you sure of a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you better go in disguise For every bear that ever there was Will gather them for certain Because today's the day The teddy bears have their picnic Every teddy bear who's been good a shore of a tree today There's lots of marvelous things to eat 
and wonderful games to play beneath the trees where nobody sees they'll hide and seek and as long as they please cause that's the way teddy bears have their peace We'll take them under bed because they're tired little teddy bears. If you go down to the woods today, you better not go alone. It's lovely down in the woods today, but safer to stay at home. For every bed that ever there was. We'll gather there together because today's the day the teddy bears have their peak. Today's the day the teddy bears have their peak. All right, thank thank you all very much for letting me sing those songs for you. Um, my, my name is Andy Kaufman, and uh, uh, you might know me from, well, I mean, I'm kind of like one of the biggest stars ever of all times, but I'm, I'm really humble about it. Like, you know, um, I, I, I actually, um, a lot of people don't realize this about me, but um, I, I, I faked my death to get away from Hollywood famedom because um, I, I didn't like what it was doing to me and the, the people that I loved. And um, since then, I've I, I had a daughter, and uh, and I've lived a normal life, um, but um, there was always something feeling a little left out, and um, I, I had to fake my death again in 2021. And um, but n now I'm kind of getting lonely, so I, I decided to, you know, stop by Tram Travelers and say hi. And um, I don't know how many people are out there actually watching this, but. Uh, I'm glad that uh, I'm I'm able to help Triumph Traveler with his thing because he, he's a really good friend of mine and he's a good person. Um, okay, let's see. So we were about to play the MacArthur Court, University of Oregon, and Eugene, Oregon. This is going to be a really good show. This is going to be our last show for the night. All right, and here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 